I'm gonna praise the Lord, everybody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We come in here to give God some praise. We come to give God some glory. We come to give God some honor. Glory to God. For God is not everything. Glory to God. Come on, you came in here to give God some honor. Give God some praise. Welcome, welcome, Facebook Live. Welcome, Conflict Call Line. Glory to God. I don't know what you came to get, but right here where you are, glory to God. Come and give God some praise. Come give God some honor. Come and give God some glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, come on. Focus, 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 focus. Glory to God. Come on, give God some praise. If you know that God is your everything. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. We welcome, we welcome, we welcome. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad therein. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, we set the atmosphere. Set the atmosphere for your praise and worship. Glory to God. Come on, set the atmosphere. Set it, set it, set it. Cause we keep God some glory. Anybody love the praises in here? Anybody come to give God some praise? Anybody come to give God some glory? Anybody come to give God some honor? Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, Facebook Live. Stand up right there where you are. Conference call line. Come on, glory to God. We give God praise and honor. Hallelujah. Come on, praise team. Take us up a little bit high. Hallelujah. Cause I need you 
but don't stop praising God. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise. Give God some honor and glory to God. Anybody chasing after God, glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank God. We bless and we praise Him. I don't know about you, but I'm chasing after God. Ain't nothing else worth chasing for but to chase after God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If anyone chasing after God, glory to God. You don't think you got to break the glory to God. We come to break God today. I don't know what you come to do, glory to God. But we come to live out the name of Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank you. We bless and we praise Him. Glory to God. Speaks 
better things than that of Abel. See that you do not refuse him who speaks. For if they do not escape who refuse him who spoke on earth, much more shall we not escape if we turn away from him who speaks from heaven, whose voice then shook the earth, but now he has promised, saying, Yet once more I shake, not only the earth, but also heaven. Now this yet once more indicates the removal of those things that are being shaken as of things that are made, that the things which cannot be shaken may remain. May the Lord add a reading and a blessing to his word. Glory to God. Remain as we go to the throne of grace. Come over, see it. Glory to God. Oh, let us pray. Dear eternal Father, most holy Father, we come to you once again just giving you thanks. We thank you, Father, for another day. Another day to be amongst the land of the living. We thank you for waking us up in our right state of mind. For giving us the use and activity of our limbs. We, have, we thank you for forgiving us of our sins. Anything we said and did that's displeasing in your eyes. But most of all, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. Yes, we thank you for traveling mercy this morning, Father, as we travel here. We thank you for this house of Zion, for the shepherd that you put over. We thank you for everyone who's assembled here, Heavenly Father, and everybody who's on Facebook and the conference call as well, Heavenly Father. Yes, and now, Father, we come lift up the shepherd, Heavenly Father, and ask that you would anoint her from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet, Heavenly Father. She yes. bring forth your word. Yes. We pray, Heavenly Father, someone will get to know you on the day that's born. Heavenly Father, yeah, we ask all this in your holy and magnificent name. In Jesus Christ, we just pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I would like to use a title for this passage: "The Blood Still Speaks." Amen. The Blood Amen. Still Still Speaks. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but God has shaken the earth. One more time, with all the COVID-19, with the pandemic, glory to God, with all the violence and the crime, with all the earthquakes, the tornadoes, with all the shootings and the killings, with all the buildings are being blown up, or buildings are exploding, buildings are falling down. God is shaking the earth one more time. And I don't know about you, glory to God, you got to know that we are in a transitional season. We are in a season on earth, in life, in the natural, and in the spirit, glory to God, when God is moving things around, when God is taking things from one place to another place, glory to God. God is shifting some things, and he's taking the carnality of the world into the spirituality of the world. He's taking the natural, glory to God, into the supernatural, glory to God. You got to know the atmosphere that we are living in today, and it's not all about what we see with our natural eyes, but it's about what's going on in the heavenly earth, and glory to God, in the heavens, glory to God. And in the heaven, God is shifting some things to get our attention. Anybody got to say, glory to God, agree with me, glory to God. God is shaking some things, glory to God, to see exactly where, how strong is our foundation. And I tell you, this COVID-19 had tested the church. It tested the believers in Christ to see exactly where, where is your foundation in Jesus Christ, glory to God. But I thank God, glory to God, that the blood still speaks. Hmm. And glory to God tonight, today, glory to God, I'm just going to be very, I'm going to be short. I'm not going to do a teaching. I'm just going to bring, give you some things to remind you, glory to God, of what you already know. Oh, you know that our world today seems to be full of courtrooms and trials. <laughs> Such as you go on TV, the TV shows you, you see the old show, uh, Perry Mason. Mm -hmm. You might love Perry Mason. Yeah, um. L.A. Law, uh huh. Divorce Court, <laughs> Judge Judy, uh huh. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> glory to God. How about Judge Joe Brown? You might watch him. Glory to God. People's Court and Law and Order, <laughs> and of course there are many more. It seems like people in the society today are obsessed with the issues of guilt with the issues of innocence, mm -hmm. with the issues of conviction, with the issue of acquittal, with the issues who's right and who's wrong. 
Glory to God. Oh, but I want to let you know that innocent people have been convicted of crimes that do not that they do not commit in this world. And I want to let you know that guilty people have sometimes gone free due to a lack of evidence. Mm -hmm. But I want to let you know also, my brothers and sisters, there is a spiritual court. I praise God for the hand clap. And this is a court of justice. And we have been glory to God. And the judge of this court is God of the universe. He's El Elyon, the most high God. Glory to God. He's the commander of the whole universe. And he is the ultimate judge that rules in absolute righteousness. Glory to God. And with perfect flawlessness. His throne is one before which we are invited to come boldly. And that is to boldly come to the throne of God's grace. He invites us, Lord to God, to come throne, to the throne of grace. And, or he invites us to come to the courtroom of the blood. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. I want to let you know in the Old Testament, the only way to have forgiveness for the sins was to sacrifice an animal. And without the shedding of the animal blood, there was no remission of sins. Glory to God. But Jesus, oh, thank God but for but. But Jesus, glory to God, came and he shed his blood as the final coming for our sins. Oh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 19 says, God restored the world to himself. No longer counting your sins against you, he has blotted them out. Because of Jesus, we have the freedom and the forgiveness of sin today. Somebody to, somebody to shout hallelujah. No matter what you did last night and what you did this morning, glory to God. But today is a day of new mercy. Today is a day of new grace, glory to God. When God has already forgiven us of our past, our present, and our future sin. Somebody shout hallelujah. You know the worst thing that you could ever have done. God has already erased it. To, he already blacked it out. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus. But yet many of the people. Especially the people that are believers in Christ. Are living with guilt. And living with condemnation. Because of their past mistakes. Even after they have asked God to forgive them, they keep going to God with the same old stuff. Going to God, asking them over and over and over to forgive them. Hallelujah, glory to God. But you know what? You just need to let go. You just need to let go of your past mistakes. You need to let go of your past failures. You need to just let it go of your past glory to God. Everything you have done, your past guilt, your your. So today let this message remind you of God's great grace for your life so that you can race, glory to God, race this race, glory to run this race, and so you can rise above the new level that God has called you to go to. Oh, I don't know about you, glory to God, ha, ha, hallelujah. If you are a born again believer of Jesus Christ, you have the blood of Jesus that has already been applied to your life. The question is, are you really a born again believer? Are you really saved, glory to God? I know, glory to God, we use that word so loosely, I'm saved, or I'm born again, or I'm a Christian. But my question to you, are you really, are you really born again? <laughs> again, that means you have changed your life, glory to God. You're not the same, glory to God. God has done a renewing of your mind and a renewing of your heart. You don't think the same, you don't walk the same, you don't act the same, glory to God. You don't hang around the same crowd. You've been born again, glory to God. And because you've been born again, the blood of Jesus has already been applied to your life. Somebody give God some praise for that. Yes. And then once, the born, once you've been born again, the blood of Jesus has been applied to your life. Then that blood speaks of better things over your life. The blood speaks. Now somebody gonna get some money. This may be some deep for some of you, but you got to know the blood speaks glory to God. It speaks that you will not be shaken or moved when the trials and tribulation comes in your mouth. The blood speaks. The blood speaks glory to God. Hallelujah. When the world is upside down, but you are still standing right side up. 
to put our speech going to God when our enemy want to take you out to the glory to God, but the blood comes on your behalf and, and drive away the enemy. The blood speaks when you want to break down the glory to God. It holds you up. Can I get a witness to it? The blood speaks going to God when pain come and flick your body, but it says that you have already been made whole and healed by the blood. The blood still speaks. Oh my goodness, glory to God. So in this passage in Hebrews, glory to God, it take, takes us all the way back to the story of Cain and Abel. They were the son of Adam and Eve. <laughs> and as you know, Abel was murdered by his own brother Cain. This was the first murder in the Bible, glory to God. And glory to God, in the book of Genesis that we just read, chapter 4, verse 10, tells us that Abel's blood Cry out to the Lord from the ground. Able blood cry out to the Lord from the ground. So while able blood cry out for justice, mm, 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 Jesus' blood cries out, justice has been paid in full. And since the blood still speaks, let's consider the following glory to God. Number one, you got to consider the voice of the blood. There's a voice that comes from the blood of Jesus. Oh, how do I know that? Psalms 107 2 says, Let the redeemed of the Lord. Come on, y'all want to help me preach this? Well, you better go here, glory to God. Whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. <laughs> Hallelujah, glory to God. If God has done so much for you, if God has done so much in your life, you ought to give God a praise if you are the redeemed. If you are the redeemed of the Lord, you ought to give God some praise. You ought to make the devil know, let you know you had me for a moment, but I came back. I was set back to come back, glory to God, to... Good God, I'll let you know how good my God is. Uh, that I'm still living and I'm still standing. I still got my joy and my peace going to God. If God has been dying so, if God has been good to you, if God has done so much for your life, you ought to give him a praise uh, and tell everyone that he's been good. You ought to tell somebody, God been good to me. In spite of how I feel, in spite of what I'm going through today, in spite of what I have in Encounter. God is still good. Let the redeemed. We are the redeemed in here. We are the redeemed in here. Which we have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Therefore, as of this day, my brothers and sisters, glory to God. You are going to speak as the re redeemed one. Glory to God. You got to stand boldly and you got to speak as the redeemed one. Glory. Stop speaking as, as, as if you are a failure. Stop speaking as if you are defeated. You've got to stand up and speak as the redeemed one. Glory to God. Mm. Hallelujah. The word redeem, I hear somebody asking with Pastor Brooks, what does redeem really mean? If I'm, or if I'm the redeemer, what does that really mean? Glory to God. The word redeem means to buy back. <laughs> It means to buy out. Yeah. It means to purchase again. <laughs> glory to God. So what you saying? I have that relate to me, glory to God. It's just like when you go into a department store. Glory to God. And there's a clearance rack. And most of the time, the clearance rack is full of clothes that have been, re been returned. Most of the time, the clearance racks is full of clothes that have been defected, missing a button or a hem or a thread or whatever, glory to God. Or it may have been faded or it may have been torn. Glory to God. And the price has been reduced. Glory to God. And so when you, re when you purchase it back, glory to God, it has been redeemed. I want to let you know that we have been people that have been on the clearance rack. Bruised, hurt, Messed up, lost, glory to can I can I get a witness? Lost a button here and there. Can I get a, a thread out of place? Torn, faded, beat up, glory to God. But thank God for the blood. He came and looked at us and punched us back unto Himself. And when you put when you and you know 
what? When you go into the cleanse rack, cleanse rack, most of the time you cannot return. Tell your neighbor there's no return. God purchased me by the blood of Jesus. And I will not go back. He can't even return me back to the enemy in the name of Jesus. God took me, put me, glory to God, took me off the returns line, put me home, sold me back up, put that button back on me, put the heel up. Can I get a witness going to God? He cleaned me up. I am the redeemed one. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. That I was a wreck and I was a mess. But look at me now. God cleaned me up. Can I get a witness? I was defeated at one time. I was depressed. I was oppressed. I didn't know what to do with myself. I had no self-esteem. But God punched me off the cliff and redeemed me. And understand what I'm saying, y'all. Can I get we are the redeemer? Let the redeem of the Lord say so. I was a mess, y'all. Busting and cussing. Lay you out in a minute. But to God be the glory. He redeemed me. Gave me a new talker. Glory to God. Yeah. You are redeemed. Hallelujah. Then guess what? You are no longer a slave. I'm no longer a slave to sin. I'm no longer a slave, a slave to people. I don't impress people. I'm not addicted to please the people. Can I get them? I've been redeemed by the blood of God. I'm not intimidated by you. I'm not manipulated by you. You can talk if you want to. I'm not scared of your words. I'm not scared of your face. I'm not your slave. I'm not your doormat. Cigarettes don't have me. Alcohol don't have me. Cussing and fussing don't have me. Can I get a witness? We are the redeemed here. I've been redeemed. You should have met me before my BC day, before Christ day. I was a hell on wheels, but to God be the glory. I'm a heaven on wheels, on my way to heaven, on my way to glory. I've been redeemed, brought back by the blood of Jesus. I used to be depressed. I used to allow things, circumstances, and the people to dictate my attitude. Hallelujah. Lay in bed, didn't want to be bothered. Glory to God. If the husband act up, I'm sad. If the children act up, I'm sad. Glory to God. But when God redeemed me, it didn't matter if nobody act up. It didn't matter who act up. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm still going to get my praise on. I would let nothing dictate my character, dictate my joy. Nothing steal my rejoicing. I still rejoice in the Lord in the name of Jesus. And when you got the authority as the redeemed one, when you show up, everybody got to behave. The children may run in the bedroom. The dog will stop barking. The fish will stop swimming. The cat will stop me out. Can I get a witness? When you come in the room as the But my good, the blood of God has given me my freedom back. I got freedom in the name of Jesus. I'm no longer born to sin. I've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus, the sinless, spotless, all powerful Son of the living God redeemed me, brought me back, set me free in the name of Jesus. And you know what? This is not ordinary blood. <laughs> that blood, this blood, glory to God has defeated the enemy. Yeah. It defeated him, glory to God. This blood, glory to God, crushed Satan here. Uh. Glory to God. This blood took the keys of death and hell out of Satan's hands. Can I get a witness? This blood make the demons tremble. Can I get a witness, glory to God? This blood healed my sick body. Can I get a witness? This blood, glory to God. Hallelujah. Crushed the enemy here. Took away all that he had that he had in store for my life, but to God be the glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This blood is not average blood. Mm -mm. It's not the typical blood. It's blood that opens the blind eyes. It's blood that cures the lepers. It's blood that made Jesus and Jesus walk on water. Glory to God, the poor demon. Hallelujah. When he was sick and made him walk back on water, glory to God. I don't know about you, this blood calms my emotions. It calms my spirit. It, instead of me having a breakdown, it makes me have a break forth. Glory to God and a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. This blood, glory to God. What it did, it restored the woman that was caught in adultery. Can I get a witness in the name of Jesus? This blood, glory to God, forgives those, glory to God, that make mistakes and perfectly sin against God. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm so thankful for this blood. Mm. Yes. Hallelujah. So when you speak as the redeemed, <laughs> you are the voice of the blood. Yeah. Uh, just, come on and get this. When you speak as the redeemed, you are the voice of the blood. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm going to say it again. When you speak as the redeemed, you are the voice of the blood. There's power in the blood. When you speak, I'm saying, when you speak as the redeemed one, not just anybody, I, I've been redeemed. When you speak as the redeemed one, there is the voice of the blood. And when there is the voice of the blood, guess what? All of heaven will back you up, whatever you say, in the name of all of heaven. When you speak of the blood of Jesus, all of heaven, when you speak the words, you have to worry about nobody on your side. You have to worry about anybody agreeing with you. You have to get nobody confirmation. You have to get nobody approval. But when you speak and open up your mouth as the redeemed one, all of heaven backs up the words that come out your mouth. Oh, somebody give God a praise. Give God a praise, glory to God. None of your words will be taken lightly anymore. None of your words, whatever you need in your life, you speak it in the atmosphere. Long as not up with the word of God. God said heaven will back you up because you're speaking the blood of Jesus. You're speaking life. The blood is life. You're speaking the life back in that dead situation. Glory to God. It's the blood of Jesus that has spoken through you and he's still speaking in every situation of your life. The blood. <laughs> it's, it's the blood. The blood of Jesus has spoken through you. And he's speaking in your life. So by faith as the redeemed one. Hallelujah. It's time for you to open up your mouth and speak. Look at your neighbor and say, stop speaking life. Stop speaking death in your situation. Stop speaking negative things. Hallelujah. Stop speaking negative things. Stop speaking life. At the, as the redeemed, glory to God. Let the redeemed of the Lord say that I put the blood over my house. Let the redeemed of the Lord say I put the blood over my health. Let the redeemed of the Lord say I put the blood over my children. Let the redeemed of the Lord say I put the blood over my finances. Let the redeemed of the Lord say I put the blood over my career. Let the redeemed of the Lord say I put the blood over that pain and that sickness that's in my body. I put the blood over my mind. I put the blood over my emotion. I put the blood over my spouse. I put the blood over my family members. Can I get a witness? Glory to God. You no longer have to walk around your house. You go inside your house and plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus over your life. Over everything that don't look like it's God. Plead the blood of Jesus. The power. The power. Let the redeemed say so. Now plead the blood over that situation trying to turn me up. The devil's a lie. The blood is over my children. It's the blood over my marriage. It's the blood over my finances. It's the blood over my health. It's the blood over my career, my education. It's the blood of Jesus. Hard look like the blood still speaks. And because of the blood, my brother and sister, hallelujah, you are protected. God put a hitch around you and your household. Oh, glory to God. You don't know how many times the enemy came against your household. You don't know how many times the enemy came against you. He was so close to attacking you. And the blood, when he saw the blood, you don't know how many times your house could have caught on fire, but 
He's on the blood. You and the hermitage, you could have been in that harbor car today. Good God ain't bad, but he saw the blood. Are you ever hear what I'm saying? You and the hermitage, doing stuff, certain things your children, your grandchildren, or your family members could have came missing, or was in an environment where shooting was going on, and God got them out of the environment in the nick of time because he saw. You better go here. He saw the blood. You got to stop being the blood. Anywhere I go, it's the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. That surrounded me. At the eye of the redeemed. And let the redeemed say so. That God is my God. He's the king of my soul. He's my all in all. He's my lily of the valley. My rose of Sharon. My bright and holy star. He's my beginning and short of He's my end. He's my author and the finish of my faith. Can I get a witness? He's my God, my Savior, my Deliverer, the Bishop of my soul. He's my lover, he's my all in all. Can I give you my peace in the midst of the storm? He's my strength when I'm weak. Can I get a witness? When I want to give up, he makes me give up in the name of you. He's my God. You know how you're going to overcome the enemy? Mm -hmm. By the blood of the Lamb. Blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. Glory to God. Okay. And it said, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. Yes. Anybody got testimony? Yes. We're the testimonial people up in here today. Yes. And not ashamed to share what God has done for you. Yes. Glory to God. The blood of Jesus gives us the victory over Satan. The job of the devil is to accuse and condemn the believer day and night. Oh, he go back and forth to the throne of God, glory to God, because he still have access in heaven. And he go back and forth, and everything, he, he ain't worried about those that don't serve God. He, he, he not worried about those not serving God, but those of you that proclaim the book of Jesus Christ. Those of you that's trying to strive your best to do what's right. Every wrong error that you make, he go to the Father and accuse you. He go to the Father, look at them. 
Mm -hmm. look, look how they respond. Yes, yes. Look the words that came out their mouth. Look, yes. look at them driving the traffic and thinking because nobody hear them or see them. They're cussing and fussing at people. Look at them glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Doing the things not pleased to. Look at their attitude. Look, look at them being all mean and nasty for no reason. Look at them. Look at that you call them your people and they still smoking like the world. They still doing everything the world doing. They smoking, they drinking, they sexy, they clubbing, they they party, they, they look at them, they say they, they your child, look at them. They doing everything that the world's doing. Day and night he's accusing those of us that come out to here on Sunday. Those of us that read our word. Those of us that shout hallelujah, he accusing us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but to God be the glory. To God be the glory. We're in the courtroom of the blood. <laughs> We're in the courtroom of the blood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Jesus has put an end to all of our condemnation, y'all. The believer, as believers, we can overcome Satan by understanding the shade of the blood of Jesus on the cross. Know this for sure. The critical blow hmm, to Satan came when Jesus shed the blood. It wasn't when he was crucified. It wasn't when they put the nails in the feet of his hand. But when they pierced him on the side and the blood dripped down to the ground. Back to dust. We nothing but, but dust and brought back life. That was the critical blow to Satan. Satan didn't know what to do. He thought that his party was going on. He didn't know when the blood dripped from Jesus down to the ground. He knew that his time was over. He knew that the party was over. Can I get a witness? He had no idea when Jesus was created a great army of the, of the mighty God, a great army of the Lord. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Glory to God. The blood, the blood that gave me the victory in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. So the victory is already won, y'all. It's won by sacrifice. Christ's death is our place to pay the penalty of our sin. The sacrifice that we make because of our faith, the good in him, glory to God, is the victory over the enemy himself, glory to God. So as we face the battle with Satan, we should not fear it. We not, should not be intimidated. We should not run from it. We should deal with it and handle it, glory to God, because we are already got the power of the blood inside of us. I'm not running from you. I'm confronting you. I'm not fearing you no more. I don't care what type of report I get to, but what I see with my natural eyes, I'm not afraid, glory to God, because the blood of Jesus has already won the victory on Calvary. Can I get a witness? Stop walking in fear. Stop worrying about what's going to happen and what's not going to happen. Stop worrying about the doctor report, the credit report, man report. Who report which shall you believe? I shall believe the report of the Lord. He is my great physician. He is my loan officer. He is my... It's the blood, y'all. Stop walking in fear of the unknown. Glory to God. Don't try to escape from the situation. Just serve God. And the victory has already been won. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Keep in mind, hmm, the saint to keep Satan from controlling your life. You know what you got to do? Mm. Tell your story. To keep Satan from controlling your life mm -hmm. and accusing you of your wrong, just tell you, admit. Yes, I was wrong. Yes, I, yes, I did that. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Let, me, let, me, let me make it known to you. Yes, I was a hell raiser. I, 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 I'm glory to God. If you want to, glory to God, put a stop to the enemy. Uh -huh. Tell him what he tell another. Can I get a witness? Uh huh. I know you think I was hard, but I know you think I have a spirit of lust and a spirit of jealousy and a spirit of lying and a spirit of low self-esteem. I, I know you're accusing me of all that, but let me tell you something. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. But my God, through the blood of Jesus, has changed me. I may not look like you want me to look in your eyes, but I'm not worried about how I look in your eyes because my God, glory to God, he knows me. He knows my outward and he knows my inward. He knows my weakness and good. And just because I'm weak doesn't mean I'm wicked. Just because I'm 
I got a weakness. It doesn't mean I'm wicked. Because you may not have a weakness that's known to my eye, but you got a wicked heart. Can I, I got weaknesses. We all have weaknesses. And still you condemn me my weakness. Just pray that God will give me strength to overcome what I'm going through. Just because I'm weak doesn't mean I'm wicked. Can I get a witness? Somebody gonna be delivered. Because people that call you out your name, and they say you this, and they say you that, and they say you can't do this, and they say you can't do that. Yeah, you see my weakness, but I'm not wicked. Glory to God. I got a weakness, glory to God. But I'm asking God every day. You don't know how I'm on my knees. And asking God to help me to overcome this challenge. Help me to overcome the thing that's not pleasing to God. Oh, don't talk about me, y'all. But, 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 no, no, no. Go talk about me. Talk about me. Because when I come back, What did he tell Sam? What did God, God, Jesus tell God, God, Jesus tell Paul? No, tell Peter. He said, Peter, Satan had just asked for you. Yes, he did. I want to know, he just asked for you. Because see, he know your weakness. He, he know that you're about to deny me three times. He know you have an issue with pride right now. Mm, glory to God. He knows your weakness, but you know what? I'm not going to stop him. I'm going to let him sift you. He said, I'm going to, he asked for you, you're going to be sifted like wheat. Sift me, you're going to be crushed like fine powder. I'm going to get my glory to God. Because see, I'm going to allow that I know that going to bring the glory out of you to happen to you. I know that may seem bad right now for the moment, but you have no idea. I'm crushing you. I'm sifting you. I'm crush, crushing you like wheat. Glory to God. But you know what, Peter? I'm not praying that he won't destroy your marriage. I'm not praying that you won't lose your house. I'm not praying that you won't lose your job. I'm not praying that you won't lose your income. I'm not praying, glory to God, that you won't lose out on nothing. But you know, all thing I'm praying for that your faith won't. But y'all better go, y'all better praise God. You crying about your marriage, and crying about your income, and crying about your health, and crying about your finances. God said on purpose, I'm letting this happen to you. But guess what, glory to God? I'm praying, I'm standing in the gap for you, Peter, that your faith won't fail. Because no matter how down you are, if you got an ounce of faith, a must to see of faith, you're going to start your life all over again. Oh, somebody been praise God. You cried over the mess. God said, I ain't care about your mess. I'm crying about your faith. I care about your faith, glory to God. If I got an ounce of faith, Oh, Pastor, that's all I got. Ye a little faith. And then he gone on and said, he said, but when you return, what? Yes, you want to return. You're not going to stay that way. Look, get God a praise. I'm not staying in this place. I'm coming back. And he said, when you come back, come back and strengthen your brother. Tell your testimony. Let them know what you've gone through. Don't be ashamed of your story. Because through your story, I'm going to get the glory. Come on, somebody, but give God a praise. Tell somebody, I got a testimony. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of my glory. Because I've been redeemed. I've been out there, glory to God. But thank God I've been restored by the blood of Jesus. I've been redeemed. And I've been restored by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. God covered my sins. He blotted them out, glory to God. Hallelujah. He don't hold not one of them against me. In the name, if you want to call out my sin, so be it. But you're not my judge. Mama, you're not my judge. You got to tell your daddy, you're not my judge. Sister, you're not my judge. Husband, you're not my judge. God is my judge. He's the almighty God. And he know how to make everything all right. Just pray for me. Hallelujah. So what I'm saying here is that no mistake you have ever made is too much for the blood of Jesus. 
shake off your guilt, shake off condemnation. Quit living, glory to God. How do you feel like that you all washed out in here? Yeah. There's no hope for your life, glory to God. The devil's a liar. You under a better covenant, and that's the new covenant of the blood of Jesus. And that blood still speaks in the name of Jesus, glory to God. It speaks life and hope in your life. It speaks deliverance and healing and prosperity, restoration. Can I get a witness, glory to God? Yes, indeed. So we thank God. We bless God. So I want to let you know, stop holding on to things year after year. Stop asking God. You've been asking God for a whole month to, to forgive you of that one thing. <laughs> Glory to God. A whole month, you ask God to forgive you of that same thing. God said, the first time you asked me to forgive me, I all you did. Stop wasting your time worrying about what you did and what has happened to you, worrying about your past, and stop praising God for where you're going. Stop praising God what you're becoming. Can I get with you? Somebody better praise God. I'm not worried about what I did no more. I'm not worried about what's going on in them. I'm praising God for what I'm becoming. I'm praising God for my future now. I'm praising God for what God is about to do in my life. I know what I did. What did you remind to me? But God has forgiven me. I'm praising God because that used to be me. And even though I may be struggling today, but the more I praise him, the more it's going to be lesser and lesser. Can I get a witness? You better praise him. And not only that, you know where that's going to help you? Tell somebody. Be accountable to somebody. Tell somebody I messed up. But tell somebody that got connection with Jesus Christ. Don't you tell a gossiper. I said again, I love you. But I can't share some things with you because you're a gossiper. But I got to find somebody that I can trust. That I know they won't tell nobody. And when I tell them, they won't hold me accountable. I mean, they won't hold that against me. When I tell them, they won't say, I told you so. When I tell them, they say, come on, let me help you and restore you back to life. Let me help you and pray for you. Let me love on you. Can I get a witness? You don't need to tell me what I've done because I know what I've done. Just come on, restore me with your life and words of the blood of Jesus. I'm going to tell my story. And I'm not ashamed to tell it. Hallelujah. Because as I tell it, glory to God, I got victory over the enemy. God said, the lamb of the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. What is your testimony? That God died for me. What yet when I was a sinner. My testimony is that I was an unwed mother. And I'm not ashamed to tell it. Can I get a witness? My testimony that I was a fornicator before I got married. My, my testimony that I smoke and I drink and I curse and I done all, all this ungodly conduct. And then one day, late in the midnight hour, God knocked me off my horse while I was doing the road of Damascus. And he crushed me, y'all. He took my heart and he crushed it, y'all. Glory to God. I'm not ashamed to tell my story. Because see, that's how I overcame the enemy. But I feel like I wasn't all that in a bag of chips. I feel like I was messed up. I was jacked up. I was all depressed, oppressed, depressed. Can I get a witness? I was a mess, y'all. Oh, filthy mess, y'all. Glory to God. But thank God that one day, August 1996, God visited me late in the midnight hour and he crushed me. And he said, daughter, I'm here to make a change in your life. I'm here to change you and make you and redeem you back unto me. Can I get a witness, Lord, to God? I'm not ashamed to tell my story. And I cry, and I cry, and I cry. And I cried. And I said, Lord, you can take the pain. I give you my whole life, God. I'm not asking to change my situation, but just change me, God. Take the pain. Give me my peace back. Give me my joy back. Anybody know what I'm talking about? We're the redeemer of the Lord. And as the more, the more I told my story, the more I overcame the enemy. Look at your neighbor and tell your story. So God, take the glory. 
I'm not ashamed of my story, y'all. See, you got self-righteous people to make you feel ashamed to tell your story. Because they act like they've never been through nothing. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Uh, you got some self-righteous people in the church, and, and they act like they never experienced nothing. They act like they never smoke and drink. They act like they never fornicate. They act like they, they never have problems in their marriage. They got a, a perfect marriage. They act like they got good success in life. They got perfect success, but private hell. You know what I'm talking about? I, 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 but I'm not ashamed to tell you. Glory to God. I'm going to wretch y'all. I'm done. But guess what? But I found victory in the blood of Jesus. Come on, somebody, you got to pray. Give him the praise of blood. It's the blood. Hallelujah. We're going to go back to the redeem of the Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But this is a good day. Glory to God. Because you know, every first Sunday, the Holy Communion, I like to remind you about the blood. And I tell you, God gave me just a vision of his courtroom. The courtroom of the blood. And God is the judge of all. And then we have the accuser. Mm. And the accuser have his attorney the, the prosecutor. Mm -hmm. And then we have God the defender, which is us. And we have the lawyer of the blood. Glory to God. And we all come into this courtroom, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. And so the judge says, state your case. Mm -hmm. Prosecutor came up on behalf of the accuser and said that, glory to God, that she is a sinner, big time. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. She's a sinner, and she had done all these things. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes. And then, glory to God, the judge said, well, defendant, how do you plead? And you know what I said? I said. I said, I plead the blood of Jesus. <laughs> and then the judge said, do you have any witnesses? And my attorney, which is the lawyer, the lawyer, which is Jesus, he said, yes, I do. He's our witness. I have two witnesses, judge, that I want to present to you. Glory to God. Can you open it for me? Mm -mm -mm. Come on, y'all, stop opening it. Because we're all in the courtroom of the, of the blood. We're all in the courtroom because we're all sinners. But praise be to God. Praise be to God. Yes, Lord. We got a lawyer. I got a lawyer. My God, my God. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. We're all in the courtroom of Satan. And his prosecutor yes, mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. condemning us from all the sins that we have done. Yes, all those sins. Jesus. All those sins, oh, even God. up to this point. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. So he's asking each and every one, every one of us, how do we plead our case? Mm -hmm. And you say what? I plead the blood. blood. So he's saying, glory to God, where are your evidence or your witnesses? I got two of them right now. Mm. I got the bread of life. And I got the cup of the blood. Those are my evidence. OK, so what, what do you say? Cup, can you speak up? Cup, <laughs> and the cup, glory to God, the blood spoke up, and the cup said that I am the cup of the Lord's table, <laughs> and I represent the precious blood of Jesus Christ, which is the everlasting covenant. And whoever accepted Jesus as their Savior, glory to God, they are found not guilty. Oh, oh y'all not hear what I'm saying? Glory to God. Because my blood had redeemed them. My blood had purified them. My blood had restored them back into a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. My blood had washed away their sins. My blood had took away their sicknesses and their diseases. My blood, glory to God, had delivered them from the hand of the enemy. Mm. 
And the judge said, well done. I accept the evidence. Do you have anything else to present to me? Yes, I do. The bread. Mm, it's the bread. And so the bread spoke, and it, and it said that I am the bread of the communion table also. And I represent the broken body of Jesus Christ. My testimony is that they are, I carry every man's sickness or carry. My testimony is that I carry every depressed spirit. I born every weakness and every sorrow and every pain or carry. My testimony is that every disease that in the bodies of the man that have accepted Jesus Christ, that I have already declared that by my stripes they are already healed. Oh my good. I am the bread of life. And whosoever comes to me, glory to God, shall never hunger, nor shall they ever thirst, glory to God. Hallelujah. I will satisfy their souls and their spirits, glory to God. I will satisfy their thirst, and I will fill them with the fruit of righteousness. I am the bread of life. And the judge said, well done. Mm. So the judge speaks again, and he said, uh, Will the defendant please stand as we stand in there? <laughs> on the basis of the testimony of the cup, <laughs> on the basis of the testimony of the bread, glory to God, I declare you innocent. Thank you, Jesus. I declare you not guilty. I declare you, glory to God, that you are forgiven, and I declare that you are free to be who I created you to be in the name of Jesus. Oh, y'all to give God a praise. So as we at the in the courtroom at the table of Jesus Christ more than 2,000 years ago, in the upper room with his 12 disciples sitting at the table, he said, glory to God, he took the bread from the table. He blessed it. He broke it. And he gave thanks to the Father. And I want to let you know that every broken situation in your life is already blessed by God. Because you was only broken to be blessed. And he said, take, eat, for this is my body, which is broken for you. Let us eat. Amen. At the same table, glory to God, those who are innocent because they have accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior. He said, now take the cup, which is my precious blood. He said, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Remember what? Your death, your burial, your resurrection. No, he said, not just that. He said, but I want to let you know. I'm coming back, y'all. Yeah. I've already gone to prepare a place for my prepared people. And I'm coming back. You can live your life as if I'm not coming back if you want to. But I'm coming back for my church if I'm a spot or wrinkle. Not that they are perfect, no, but they striving to please me. And when they do make a mistake, they, don't, they know how to get up and wipe themselves off and say, God, I repent. God, I forgive me, God. And God said, you confess your sins. I'm faithful and just to forgive you from all your unrighteousness. He took the cup, cup of my new covenant, the blood that speaks, y'all. He said, glory to God, he said, drink, for this is the remission of all your sins. Oh my God. Let us drink. Oh, thank God. Oh, the blood speaks, y'all. And now, as of this day, I want to encourage you, as of this day, glory to God. As of this day, speak life. Speak the blood over your life. Speak the blood over your situation. When the enemy come your way, remind him about the blood of Jesus Christ. That's your victory. That's your power. That's going to sustain you and keep you in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody give God a praise. Glory to God. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Thank God that we would partake of another holy communion in the name of Jesus. And there's anyone out there, glory to God, they have never, glory to God, publicly accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, glory to God.
Come on, just raise your hand. Say, Pastor, I'm the one today. Or maybe you have already accepted him as your Savior. Glory to God. Is there anyone, glory to God, that have never publicly and said, I want to accept Jesus Christ as my Savior? Because if I die today, I, won't go to, I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. Glory to God. Just say, Pastor Brooks, I'm the one today. I want to unite with Jesus Christ as my Savior. Just raise your hand. Glory to God. There's anyone? There's anyone in here? Or maybe you already have done that and you want to recommit your life back to Christ. Or you want to be part of this ministry. Just raise your hand and say, Pastor, I'm the one today. Where are you? Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Raise your hand. Do you want to accept Christ? Do you want to be part of this ministry? Glory. Come on up front. I'm going to invite you to come up front. Come on, give God a praise. Come on up front. Glory to God. For one step. Anybody else here today? Even you want to be part of this ministry. I want you to be part of connected to the church family, glory to God. You need a company. If you die today in the mall, who's your company, glory to God? Come on, glory to God. There's anyone else out there that says, today is my day. I want to be part of this church family. But not only that, I want to accept Jesus Christ as my Savior. I have never done it before. Anybody here that has never done it before, but you go to God, you say, go to God. Today is my day in the name of Jesus, Lord to God. Anyone else? We thank the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's continue to praise God. Continue to praise Him. Praise Him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. There's power in the blood. The blood reached so far. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for this soul and this vessel, Lord God. You have known him for a long Welcome, Cecilia Thomas. She's already saved. She's been saved for a long time. And then she just recommitted her life to a new home church. And we do know her latter days. Gonna be much greater than your former days. We do know that every day you have left here on this earth will be the best days of your life. I declare the queen in the name of Jesus. No more sorrow. No more suffering. God doing a transformation right near in your heart. In the name of Jesus, God give you peace. I declare peace. Peace be still. All her concerns, Lord God, you perfect them right near by the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. Keep her, Lord God. Sustain her, Lord God. Keep her uplifting your righteous right here. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is over your life. It's over your health. It's over your mind. It's over your heart. It's over your mind. Over your spouse, over your children. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. 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 Hallelujah. Blood over every situation in your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Facebook Live, you was blessed. Give me a shout out. Glory to God. Conference call live, you was blessed. Give me a shout out. Anybody out here was blessed. Give me a shout out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank the Lord. It was just a reminder. I didn't teach you nothing new today. It was just a reminder that you are the redeemed one. Start speaking the blood over every situation, your home, your marriage, your finances, your health, every situation, of your vehicle, every situation. It's plead the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's look into the Lord to be dismissed. Everyone, please stand. Thank you, Father God. Glory to your name, your most high God. Lord, and I'm all she cut up all so. There's a sweet, sweet spirit up in here, glory to God. There's a spirit of victory in here. There's a spirit, glory to God, of newness in here, in the name of Jesus. There's a spirit of great expectation in here, in the name of Jesus. There's a spirit, glory to God, of a new breakthrough in the name of Jesus, glory to God. I thank you, Lord God. I bless you. I praise you, Lord God. Somebody's joy is being restored right here. Somebody getting back their peace right here in the name of Jesus. Somebody getting back their hope, their identity in Christ right here in the name of Jesus. Somebody taking back their health in the name of Jesus. Somebody taking back, glory to God, everything the enemy has taken away from them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And Father God, may the grace of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, May the love of God, his everlasting God, the almighty, everlasting Father, and may the communion, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit that keeps us and enable us to stand against the wiles of the devil. May we go out with victory until we meet again in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we give you the praise and we give you the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, somebody give God a praise. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't forget Wednesday night Bible study, glory to God. Thursday night intercessory prayer in the name of Jesus, glory to God, 7 p.m. Hallelujah, glory to God. And this Saturday coming up, don't forget our free clothing. Anybody, if you have any free clothing, and especially we need some children clothing, meet me right here in the parking lot this Saturday coming up at 11 o'clock, glory to God, with your free clothing. Don't expect, don't drop your bags off and expect for me to stand and know you come to be with your stuff. Amen. If you have any extra table, extra chair, come and bring it. Glory to God. But if you have any free clothing or any household items you want to give away, meet me on this parking lot this Saturday at 11 o'clock. Amen. Glory to God. We need some. We need some clothing in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Be blessed. Love you all. Meet me back here next Sunday at 11 a.m. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the sanctuary called the church. Facebook live, call call line, call line, 10 o'clock, thank you. Don't forget to give, don't forget to give, don't give a look to mobile app. Thank you for being a cheaper giver. Don't you have the time to open right here. You can put it in the box in the back in the name of Jesus. Love you all, God bless you.